Grab some popcorn. This is gonna be a long one. This is the 8335 BSS Front Kitchen Rear King Bed Master Suite Rockwood Signature. Absolute stunningly beautiful lightweight travel trailer here. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, 8,200 pounds seems like a lot to call it a lightweight, but you have to understand if this was not built like a Rockwood, it would easily weigh well into the, uh, the high nines, you know. Uh, Ultralight is a relative phrase. So, if you want to see if we have this in stock and available, all you need to do is visit the link in the video description that says check for price and availability. There you will see what we have in stock, how we have it equipped, and what we are asking, free of hidden fees, because we don't play the bait and switch, get you in with a too good to be true price game at Halet RV. Now there are just incredibly, uh, a huge number of ways that you can equip a Rockwood Signature Travel Trailer because they can appeal to so many different people. So again, the video that you're seeing here, this may not, probably is not, the exact one that we have in stock. However, it will still give you a lot of good information on this. And then again, call our team, visit our website to see exactly what we have. So I have said for a while now, and I do believe I maintain that the Rockwood Signature Series is hands down the most highly equipped travel trailer on the market. And I will take that argument up with anyone and I will back it up. It's not just something I like to fire out there. I will explain why I feel that way. So uh, they were really one of the first to market. They've been doing front windows for a long time, but they were one of the first to the travel trailer world with this just beautiful automotive uh, installation front windshield. And it is a windshield, not a window. Um, again, the one we have in stock could, uh, could be very different from this. Like we, this is generally how we like to equip them and there's reasons for it. And the way that people equip Rockwoods, I've noticed varies severely regionally. So here in the Midwest, you find them a lot like this down South. They're a little different. We've, I think we found a good happy medium that kind of fits everyone though. Now we do like to put the full body color package on these because it just looks absolutely killer. It, j it looks like a luxury fifth wheel. And in point of fact, it has the equipment package of a luxury fifth wheel but not at a luxury fifth wheel price point. That's what's great about these. And they just keep getting better. That's the thing is they are not satisfied with the status quo. Like the, uh, the smart jack system here. This, you can actually set it just like, in a sense, it's a lot like an automatic um, fifth wheel leveling system in that it can actually have a hitch height recall memory. You can set it to remember the platform height, the, the hitch height you need it to memorize. How cool is that? That's the first trailer I've ever seen with that. And maybe it's not the very first ever, but it is not common. Now you can get these built with auto levelers. You can get them built with normal jacks. We like these uh, the power jack system. Uh, the reason being, uh, the automatic leveling is, it's really subject and really finicky to low power draw situations. It's been out for a little while now and we haven't seen it improve enough that we feel it deserves a place on an extremely high level fifth wheel like this. Now, while we're under here, the underbelly, not only is it enclosed, not only is it forced air heated, but it also has a hot air exhaust so that you can get cyclical airflow running continuous hot air over the tanks and not stagnant air. Also, Rockwood Signatures have standard 12 volt tank heater pads. So all three tanks, have 12 volt heaters that you can run while in transit if required. So if you're traveling from warm to warm, but it's cold in between, this can still keep you protected. They use a totally different suspension from a, basically almost everything else in the industry. There's no other mainstream manufacturer that comes anywhere close to the volume of Rockwood that uses this. You'll notice it is not leaf sprung. There's not a leaf spring in between it. This has independent dual action, uh, like torsion suspension, each wheel can move independently. That's true of all four wheels. What that means is that that helps this thing uh, like on, on uneven terrain, it'll keep the body steady, but the tires will drop down as they're required. Um, I also like that we have all centralized hookups over here, just one smart spot. That's something you don't always get in big trailers. Now, uh, you've got a big storage pocket under the, the uh, bed back here, and you'll notice all of the exterior doors, first of all, Grab one, get off the computer, go to a dealership and put your hand on one of these. The door is heavy. It is very thick, heavy insulated. You notice you got the better slam latches and they're metallic slam latches, bus style, protected piano hinges so that the water can't spring these hinges. We also have magnet latch, uh, latches on all of these baggage doors. You know, everything on this base, uh, you're gonna hear me say that this is the recurring trend of Rockwood, is that 
what is the best possible thing? What's the fanciest thing, the highest level thing that's available on the market? Great, we're Rockwood, we're gonna do that. Um, this has an all aluminum skeleton. The roof, the walls, the slide walls are laminated. The floor is still uh, aluminum constructed. It does have a, a tongue and groove plywood deck on top. They did that because these bigger trailers, as they got larger, they needed extra strength and they found that their laminated floors were beginning to be so-so. Well, Rockwood doesn't do so-so, remember. They do all the way. So, uh, I, I've gotten a lot of flack because I, I can... I beat on Rockwoods, like the, the laminated slide walls, the roofing, the, the cabinet doors. People say, wow, I, I can't believe you would, you would bang on one of your trailers like that. Do you honestly think I would bang on a trailer if I was at all worried about damaging it? I'm not going to damage a Rockwood. You can't damage a Rockwood just by banging on them with your hand unless you're, you know, UFC fighter Chuck Liddell. And then I'm getting out of his way. You know, George Foreman might be able to put a dent in this thing, but me with my chicken arms, I sure can't. You need to be concerned about the ones that I don't bang on. Now we've got a full walk-on, zero flex roof up here. Uh, the power roof vent fans up top, like in the bathroom. It includes the Max Air vent cover, so not only is it the bigger fan in a Rockwood, like a luxury fifth wheel, but it also includes a roof vent cover. Now you can build these different ways. We've built this one with dual ducted, centralized, uh, well, pardon me, dual air conditioner, double ducted central AC. So there's two air conditioners and they each have two AC runs that tie into the same centralized system. So you can get maximum airflow. This is the maximum possible air conditioner set up on this thing right here. Because it's a big cubic foot of space. We want max power air conditioning on this right here. Um, yeah, you can get this built with a single air and 30 amp service, single air and 50 amp service. We like to generally on these big ones with a big bed slide, go uh, double air 50 amp service. Um, now, we'll get to the steps in a minute. Those are probably folks who have been following Rockwood Spheres have noticed. But they give you a nice little outside um, bar and grill entertainment station here. So what you can do is this handy little table actually comes with uh, uh, Rockwoods when you add the outside grill. So this is an indicator to me. We've already done that. Now, if you choose to add a TV, you can mount one in the bedroom. You can mount one out here. You can mount your grill over here. You can have all your, um, you know, outside camping, grilling fun going on under this huge power awning. And look at this thing as I back up. It clearly covers both entry doors. It clearly covers the grill station and still leaves your room for a pack, uh, picnic patio table over here under this thing. It, it, this is an extremely park friendly trailer. And that's really what we build this for. Um, the way that we have found this front kitchen Rockwood to be the most popular is people who want to have it parked seasonally and not really tow a lot. That seems to be the buyer who is most attracted to this floor plan. So we have it equipped as such. More on that when we get inside. But there's no obstructions. Here in the Midwest, people like to put decks on these things quite a bit. Um, you know, th this is a floor plan with no slides on the door side that's very friendly to that. Although these steps do make that a little trickier, but not the, the hardest thing in the world to overcome. But I wouldn't give these steps up for the world. These uh, luxury fifth wheel, more ride stable steps, I think are the, one of the best things to happen to RVs in recent years. They are just the best. Now notice, both entry doors on this Rockwood. First of all, they're the wider 30 inch entry door. They both have the larger door handles and they both have the now you see it, now you don't entry door step system here. Here's what I mean. And not only this, not only does it have the better entry door system, friction hinge door by the way, so it's not gonna slam against the side of the trailer. Not only does it have the handy little stable step system, but it's got the zero G one. It's got the upgraded stable step, not just the base model stable step. So one of the concerns people had when these first came out was when I'm pulling it down, I'm afraid it's gonna hit me on the head because they used to fall with gravity. Well, now that's just not a problem. That's how good the recoil is on this. Unless you pass the 50% point, it will actually recoil itself. You, you have to literally help it down and then it locks basically in place. And uh, that is due to this handy little mechanism over here. There we go, come on camera. And, you'll, and they actually did the same step system on both entry doors, inside or uh, front and back. They didn't do it on only like a main entry door. Uh, Wi-Fi Ranger, that's another newer thing on these. Basically, effectively the camper has a built-in router so that if your park has weak-ish Wi-Fi, um, you know, it will be like a signal booster. It's an access point, it's a range extender for those who understand that terminology. Um, so it, what it does is it makes you have clear, better, stronger signal at your local site. 
as a, and you also only have to program one device to hook up to the park Wi-Fi, not several if that's your thing. Let's step inside here for you. There are different decors available inside. The, the interior of this could look drastically different. So not only does Rockwood allow you a different exterior skin option, but they also offer different, multiple different interior decors. And I don't just mean sofa fabrics. Like this is Mocha, hands down the most popular of all of them. It's that traditional neutral brown. It's the safe color, but guys, when the safe color quits selling, we'll quit stocking it. So don't blame me for that. Um, there are different decors. There's also different floors. There's a stone print floor. There's also different cabinetry. There's also driftwood as opposed to the maple that we see here. Maple's a little bit of an upgrade, but you actually do get uh, maple hardwood doors and door frames like where you have doors here. These are all actual maple, um, which is uh, a little bit nicer upgrade on these. Now inside, this is one of the most technologically advanced travel trailers on the market, eclipsed only by very select fifth wheel toy haulers I've seen out there. For instance, right when you walk in the door, you have this control panel here. You can actually get an app for your phone to sync to this thing and you can control anything that this panel can do off your phone, awnings, slides, water heaters and, uh, and all that stuff, tank heaters can all be operated here. You can also get a different app on your phone to control the stereo. And in a Rockwood Signature Series, it's the only trailer I've ever seen on the market that has a true dual zone entertainment. You can actually program different, uh, use different entertainment inside and outside. So you can actually watch a movie inside on this while, watch, or while listening to different entertainment on the outside. Now, late last year, Rockwood made a huge change, a brave change and an awesome one. They went bigger. And for an ultralight brand to go bigger seems very counterintuitive. But remember guys, this is really this is really a luxury travel trailer before it's an ultralight. The the lighter weight nature as compared to a common stick built trailer just allows you to get it there and back. This is a luxury fifth wheel level travel trailer. So they went with a taller six foot nine wall, but they maintained the vaulted roof. Normally you have to choose do you either get a taller wall or a vaulted roof. Rockwood did both. So that means we now have taller slides, They can, and that means bigger windows. That means, but uh, on most floor plans, a potential for a bigger refrigerator. You don't have that here because the fridge is not in the slide. More on that in a second. Now, what I like too is, like, you look at the, the consistency. You look at the sofa, you look at the theater seat, and other than the fact that the theater seat is kicked open, they look the same, even though that is a full trifold hide bed And that's another thing I like about this. This is not your grandfather's rear kitchen. Your grandfather's rear or front kitchen had a sleeper sofa, a dining table, and nothing there. They actually extended the coach a little bit, but by creating this forward-facing sleeper sofa, when the hide bed is open, and those rare times the grandkids or some adult children guests or something join us, you can actually still navigate the trailer. The hide bed doesn't cut anything off. And if you are entertaining guests, this TV, this giant Toshiba, can swing out so that everybody at your primary comfy seating space has awesome views of the entertainment center. Not, not only that, but when the TV swings out, you can actually get to the plugs in the back, like if you want to plug in an Amazon Fire Stick or a Roku or whatever you got there. Um, now look at this little update. <clears throat> <laughs> residential style little individual swing out stands. We also have a very residential style heated massaging theater seat here. That is a hands down best in class thing. I've only seen that again. Luxury fifth wheels have these kind of things. But I've never seen luxury fifth wheel yet that has these handy little side stands. But now that Rockwood's done it, I promise you they will. Because these guys, even in trailers, affect the fifth wheel market. They are that high up in the food chain. Um, so I mentioned double ducted AC. If you look here, you can see that we actually have two AC runs, like there's the two vents there. That continues all the way through the entire trailer. Now in this specific trailer, in this video, we did upgrade to 50 amp service with a second air conditioner. That is not standard. That does not mean that's how every one of these will be equipped at our dealership. Please always keep that in mind. If you want to see exactly what we have here at Halid RV, all you need to do is visit the link in the video description, call our guys, I've mentioned all that. Now. They have a bigger uh, 1.3 cubic foot microwave. This is now the uh, the biggest like non-convection size microwave uh, effectively uh, in the industry. It's a thousand watt, 1.3 cubic foot. Bigger microwave, how cool is that? Now, in some big giant fifth wheels, they do have a bigger non-convection microwave, but in the trailer business, this is best in class. And these overhead cabinets, 
are huge. And they're all pocket screwed, by the way. So this style screws into that style. Um, we have hidden hinge cabinets up here, so when it's closed, it, it just looks so seamless and beautiful. The other thing is, if you're going down the road and you hit a bump and this door pops open, uh, a hidden hinge, you see, wants to close itself. It's not going to get caught behind the slide flange. Another thing, I have not found other travel trailers that, well, I, I know of one other brand. We actually carry it here at Halid RV. Rockwood did it first, and they still do it the most, and that is residential soft-closed drawers. They also... Per, uh, they replicate this in the bedroom as well, and that is something that most brands do not do. The other brands of trailers I know of that actually do have uh, residential closed drawers, it's only in the kitchen, not in the bedroom as well. They come with a whole slew of accessories like a water filter and even a giant Forest River spatula in there. Corian, true Corian countertops, not solid surface, Corian. Um, upgraded, better material, basically, and awesome prep space. They didn't make it uh, a, a cheap, skinny, thin kitchen. That's one of the benefits of having the more blunt nose of a Rockwood, is it gives you more prep space. And look at that front window. If you guys got a lake site, you're looking out at great stuff. Right now, it looks like you're looking at a warehouse, but that's our huge service center and service bays that we have here at Haywood RV. We've got the area's largest service center by far, and for many years, we literally had the only service center. Um, refrigerator, I said more on that later. Because we view this as a park model first, a very park-friendly seasonal model, we actually like to put a residential gas uh, or electric only a refrigerator here with a thousand watt inverter. Now that is counter to what you may have heard in many of our videos before. I've actually put a video out where I said that we're actively moving away from residential fridges in a lot of cases. That's for towable applications. Again, we see this as a trailer that is primarily parked and this thing will do its job extremely well and it's far, far bigger than a gas electric you could get normally. If they're an even size, then I don't see the benefit, but here you're, you're more than doubling the, the cold storage capacity in this thing while you still have you know, good pantry space over here. You still have good pantry space over there. It's an awesome setup. Electric space heating fireplace. Fireplace with the quotations on it, 5,120 BTU. So that's the luxury fifth wheel, bigger fireplace. Um, let's move on. I love that accent wall, by the way. Ooh, I love that accent wall. These are so, Rockwoods are so fun. They have so many cool widgets and fun features, guys. So bathroom, my battery's blinking at me. If I get cut off, I'll just restart the video here with a new battery. Uh, again, the bigger fan so that we've got better airflow, and that is why these doors are slotted, to give you superior airflow on here with that fan if you want to just open the windows. Now, something Rockwood has done better than almost anybody since the dawn of Rockwood, which actually predates Forest River. More on that later. Uh, well, that, that's a different story. Um, bathroom linens. They've always had the best storage in their bathrooms. That's something that I think Rock really helped Rockwood become what they are today. And with the extra ceiling height plus the vault, you will not have headroom clearance problems in here. Um, that stone cast sink we're looking at, that's another thing you don't typically find in travel trailers. A superior material. This is rated up to 500 degrees, so you're not going to cook it. And also, you can really get adult hands in here. You can see I'm almost up to my elbow cleaning myself up in there. Um, moving on. Moving through, we've got a dual entry bath, by the way, sliding a little pocket door here. So if you are sleeping the grandbabies, you can sneak into the bathroom real quick and not have to worry about anybody interfering with anyone. And look at this beautiful king bed. But not only is it a king bed, it's a king bed that still has side stands. It's a purpose-built king bed. Some brands, if they let you upgrade to a king bed, then the problem is you, uh, you can't walk around it anymore. That's not the uh, truth or the case here with a Rockwood. Even with a king bed, you can still walk around it because they built it with a king bed in mind, not a queen that they shoved a king into. So you still got side stands. We've got plenty of overhead lighting. We've got uh, cross breeze windows over here. This is actually a really good area to get to see the arch on the ceiling. You see that trim piece and how it kind of gets taller, that little thing right there. If you want to add a TV, she's all set to do it right there. Again, the second air conditioner we've added is present here, but again, not necessarily present on the RV that we have in stock. Please don't forget that. Please remember again, visit HaloRV.com to see what we have. Again, not just amazing amounts of dresser storage, but soft closed drawers. This is where the other brands start to cheapen up. You know, Rockwood's still including a nice little like phone charger station for us here. Again, 
Both entry doors have that drawbridge style zero gravity Moride step system. This has amazing bedroom storage. This is the RV that does all of the things. <laughs> Anything that there is, it does and has effectively. This is the brand that is, you know, it's the highest level travel trailer on the market. There's other beautiful campers out there. Don't get me wrong. And it's not to say that this is the best brand or the best brand for you. It's just that these guys ha are the most highly appointed. So if that interests you, if this video has been useful, all I ask is you give our dealership and my family here at Halo RV an opportunity to work with you and earn your business. We've already gone 20 and a half minutes educating you on this thing. Imagine what we'll do when you actually come visit us here at the dealership. And you don't have to give us your social security number to walk around at Halo RV. You don't have to be escorted around by a security guard. Um, you know, we do everything, hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. If you want us to park this on your site for you, we can do that. If you like this RV, but you feel it is better equipped in a different way, we'll build one for you. I don't care. We don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. I prefer to sell the one I have here, but I'm not going to lose a deal over it. I'll build you whatever you want. Give us a ring. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy Haylet camping, everyone.